All right, time now for a look at what's happening in entertainment. Marcus Allen celebrating National Hero Day. Where are you, Mark? Yeah, you know, it is National Hero Day, and instead of talking about Wonder Woman, I wanted to talk about real heroes, and a guy, Alfred Sanchez, that lives right back there, is about to get breakfast delivered from us, and we also gave him a Visa diff gift card to help because he feeds the homeless each and every day. He's known in Citrus Heights as Snack Man. Follow me on Facebook. I'll tell you more about him. In the meantime, let's talk about what's going on in entertainment news. A Full House star gets to go home to her full house. Take a look. Lori Loughlin is a free woman. The Full House actress released from prison early yesterday morning, having served her whole sentence two months after pleading guilty in the college admissions scandal. Her husband, fashion designer Massimo Giannulli, also locked up. He won't get out till April. I know my way around, I walk towards the light. Paul McCartney back in the top five. His new album, McCartney 3, debuts at number two in the Billboard Hot 200 album chart. He's the only act to have an album in the top two each of the last six decades. And it's possible he'd have a number one, if not for another pop star. Taylor Swift's new album, Evermore, sits at number one for a second week in a row. McCartney actually outsold Swift in physical albums, but she made up the difference, and then some in streaming. Mariah Carey sets a record with All I Want for Christmas is You. It's number one again on the Billboard Hot 100 singles chart for a fifth week overall. Passing the Chipmunk song for the holiday tune with the most weeks at the top. All I Want for Christmas also featured in the movie Love Actually, which is one of my favorite holiday movies. All you have to do is tell someone that's your favorite holiday movie, and oh, do you polarize the crowd. You want to talk political. Uh, in the meantime, let's talk about something fun, something awesome. Get the ABC10 app in your phone, Android, or Apple devices. It's your portal to ABC10. One, you can watch ABC10's morning show, morning blend, or anything else streaming, uh, as well as get us video or pictures. For the first club, we want to see your first picture you're taking this year. So my first picture was taken on January 1st in the studio prior to the pandemic with our producer Justine getting freaked out by an Annabelle doll. I want to see your first picture of 2020. What was the very first picture? Get it to us or video. Use the ABC 10 app to do so and back to you. All right. Thank you. Marcus Allen, Citrus Heights.